Hey folks, Jamie here again with Adirondack Mountain and Stream Guide Service and Fraser Taxidermy. Just kind of hanging out here at our guide shack. Um, this is kind of a little workstation we use in between when folks, the guides are coming and going from trips. What I wanted to do today, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about our, our Adirondack guided deer hunts. Uh, we get a lot of calls, a lot of emails, and you know, a lot of just kind of basic questions about how we hunt, where we hunt, and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to talk about it to you for a few minutes. And um, you're always welcome to call. Send us those emails. But j just to give you a little something to look at maybe in between times. You know, uh, we will take anybody from one to say groups of six, seven. Occasionally we'll get groups of eight guys. Um, you can book as many days as you want. Very rarely do we get somebody that just comes for one day. But you're welcome to. Um, usually they average three to five days of hunting and um, it just it's just simple math the more time you have to put out there the better your chances you know that that's just a given you know I mean if you come for a day we are gonna have a great time but you're 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 playing the odds and obviously putting in that more time uh, it just ups your odds uh, another question we get quite a bit is is when to come and I always tell people you know, our early seasons will start end of September. Our traditional rifle season is third week in October through the first Sunday in December. And then we do have some special muzzleloading seasons that we could talk about at another time. But that's our, our regular rifle season. And I tell people, you know, you come when you can come. When you can work the time off and all this stuff, we're going to make the best of it. But when it got right down to it, the best time, in my opinion, to come is after veterans, from veterans to the end. Um, many variables one uh the rut um you up your odds whenever we're hunting around the rut um snow for visibility and tracking if necessary um i think that helps um and the leaves are typically going to be basically gone by mid-november here so once again visibility um the only probably a, a con to some of that it can definitely be colder there's no two ways around it we can have a lot colder weather going on here and snow and everything and you, and you just got to be used to dealing with that and to me then that you know that's just about your gear the type of clothing you wear the kind of pack you carry your boots you know but so if that's going to bother you you're going to want to come the first part of our season you know this this is just you know that's just real quick in expectations, we get people asking about, you know, how many deer they're going to see and all this kind of stuff. Well, it's the Adirondacks. It's big woods hunting. There's almost no agriculture here within within the park. Um, uh, so we we uh, we do look for acorns, beech nuts. You know, there, there's other types of feed that you can look for, mass crop, if you will. But it's, it's always going to be tough hunting here in the Adirondacks. I have some people that have come and done like one hunt with us and shoot a buck and, you know, first day out and they're like, wow, this wasn't so tough. That stuff's going to happen, but it's not the norm. Usually you're going to put some time in. We have hunters that really enjoy themselves. They might come and hunt one, one hunt with us and maybe they see a buck, and but they don't get it. But yet they know they've enjoyed themselves. They understand we're not trying to BS them to death or nothing. And, and they come back and they've been with us, some of these people for years and They've been successful, but you know it's 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 30, 40, maybe 50 percent of the time. It's it's that's you're doing good if you can average that kind of stuff here in the Adirondacks. Um, so these are a few of the things that I wanted to talk about today and where we hunt. We do hunt on state land. Uh, for uh, we considered having leases, but you know there's insurances and other stuff, and you start to limit yourself, in my opinion. What we try to do is we're always scouting out new areas. Uh, if it doesn't work good over here, or this may work for one year, or it works for this group of hunters, but then we want to try something over here. Maybe over here it's a little bit bigger mountains and whatever, and there's good bucks in there. So we want to hunt over there. And then on the third day, we might want to go somewhere else. Other times, we're, we're going we're gonna to tend and say, hey, we need to be persistent. You know, they have the right kind of hunters that understand that we're going to hunt this little area over here because we know there's a good buck there and we're gonna put 90% of our time there. These are variables we don't know until the time of hunt and also we need to get to know the hunter, uh, their, their physical capabilities and everything. So, you know, these are all variables that we have to consider um, every time we book a hunt and when we hunt with folks. And, um, and then the other thing is, we want people to understand that 
we enjoy it. We enjoy meeting you. We enjoy the, the hunt and being out there. Um, and that's the bottom line. We all have to learn to enjoy it, and we want people to come with realistic expectations. I'd rather you didn't come than mislead you. You know, we lose trips every year because the people are looking for a guarantee, and that's not what we have here to offer. So if you can come with realistic expectations, we're going to have a good time, see some of the, the more wildernessy type areas here in the Adirondacks, um, that's great. And uh, we're really looking forward to, uh, to meeting you. So like I say, call us, email us, check out our videos, our Instagram and all that stuff. And, you know, enjoy the great outdoors, folks. And thanks for viewing.